One year ago today, the name Madeline Kingsbury made headlines across the nation. The Winona woman vanished without a trace, leaving behind her children and many beloved family and friends. Her, re her remains were found two months later on June 7th, north of Mabel. Her ex-boyfriend and father of her children, Adam Fravel, is charged with her murder and is awaiting a jury trial. While her life ended tragically, her story continues to reach far and wide. Maddie's Army, as they are called, has made sure of this. Public information shows Madeline is a victim of domestic violence. We have covered that extensively. Today, we are here to talk about how Madeline's loved ones are working to help others in her memory. Our, our, our Olivia Pronsinski has more. Almost a year ago, like her life ended. And we didn't even know it. The loss of a loved one is a hard thing for anyone to grasp. And especially since nothing's concluded, like there's no closure to it yet. Family and friends of Madeline are continuing to show up for her through court hearings and now in the fight against domestic violence. Sorority sister Holly Stamsher says she will do everything she can. Me, myself, I can't do much because I honestly don't know what to do. Um, but I make it known to anyone that I cross paths with that this is something I'm passionate about um, so that they can spread the word and then um, know that I am a resource um, that can lead them to the proper place. Many didn't know Madeline, but like Abby Perlinger, they share similar stories. Abby started by searching for Madeline and never left. I have kind of a more deeper personal connection to struggles that she went through. Um, and I just felt like I needed to be here for these girls who were really, really struggling. They call themselves Maddie's army. We always say we will remain loud. We are not going to quiet down. A fierce group of women taking charge with a mission of making sure what happened to Madeline doesn't happen again. But it's not talked about until something like this happens. The Army is starting small but hopes to expand. We sell our, the merchandise because that eventually is going to go back into some something for M Madeline and domestic violence. Um, we want to make sure that funds are always available for people who need it in these circumstances. Holly says she knows of others who have heard Maddie's story and found the strength to leave unsafe relationships. It makes me proud that Maddie could do this for someone. The group hopes to start an organization in her honor someday. We, we will try our best to get something together so that everyone can have a resource and feel like someone is going to be there for them. Like a strong army, they say they will not surrender. We will always be loud, and not just for Maddie, but for everyone who is dealing with domestic violence, because we're not going to stop. And for those wondering, Holly says Madeline's kids are excelling and are happy. There is still a fund set up through Merchants Bank to help to, do to donate. All you have to do is call and say you'd like to donate to the Madeline Kingsbury Fund. All the money goes towards legal fees, her children, and supporting domestic violence organizations.